Have you noticed this new villainous genre of anime that started to come about recently? In these anime, what usually happens is a female main character dies and gets reincarnated as a villainous who is fated to either die or have some type of cruel future awaiting them, either in a video game, a romance novel, or something along those lines that this character has either played or read in their former life. And upon learning of their reincarnation, the main character does everything they can to avoid their cruel fate from the original story they read or played in their past life. So typically I say these anime are pretty fun watches, but I hadn't seen any in this new genre that I really enjoyed enough to have a lasting impact on me. However, that has recently changed with two anime I recently watched, one of which I will be talking about in this video, and the other I will be talking about in next week's video, so look forward to that. The anime we will be talking about today is named My Next Life as a Villainous, All Routes Lead to Doom. Now as a quick disclaimer, this anime is extremely unserious and silly, so if you are looking for something serious to watch, this is definitely not the one for you. However, My Next Life as a Villainous has been one of my favorite watches as of recently, and that has almost entirely to do with its main character, Katarina, or as everyone in the Crunchyroll comment section calls her, Bakarina. I'm not usually sold on an anime by a main character alone, but Katarina is so random, funny, and unserious that I was extremely entertained as soon as I started watching this show. Seeing this little noble girl who eventually becomes this noble teen climb trees, maintain farms, and do a bunch of random stuff like this. It's a lot of fun to watch, and as you continue to watch, as a viewer, you will only begin to like Katarina more and more as the episodes go along. Also, it's not just the main character Katarina, but also all the characters in this anime are extremely entertaining and well made. Even Katarina's mom, who doesn't get a lot of screen time at all, made a lasting impression on me because of her hilarious mother-daughter moments with the main character. And honestly, I don't really like harem anime, at least I don't like the harem part of certain anime, and this is undoubtedly a harem anime. However, the harem aspect of this anime did not bug me at all. In fact, it honestly made the anime even better and even funnier. How, Tway? You may be wondering, because as I said, it is so unserious. Literally everything about this anime is unserious, and that also includes the harem itself. So there is no actual tension between the characters in love with Katarina. So it doesn't really make for any drama or anything. In fact, it more so makes the other characters become even closer and funnier in their interactions. My Next Life as a Villainous is really just a fun, enjoyable, and funny watch. And it is also fun, enjoyable, and funny enough to really make a lasting impression on the watcher and differentiate itself from other anime. So I usually go into the backstory of the plot in my anime videos, but honestly, the backstory of My Next Life as a Villainous is basically the same as I said all the villainous anime are. The only extra thing I would point out about this anime is that Katarina did not regain her memories of her past life until she was like, looking like this. However, even this happenstance of the main character regaining their past memories later in their life is pretty common in these villainous anime. 
anyways, that about sums up this anime. I know it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but that's because it isn't. As I said before, it's just a good, funny watch. It really isn't too much to talk about. It isn't too much to think about with this anime. There's no intricate plot or crazy fighting scenes. It's just a super silly and super funny anime. And I promise with that silliness coupled with the brilliant makeup of the main character, Katarina, and the other characters, this anime will leave a lasting impression on you and it's definitely worth the watch. I appreciate it if you all have made it this far into the video. I hope you guys have a great day. Great night if it's nighttime. Hope y'all smiling. Hope y'all happy. If not, I hope y'all get to that point. You smile happy for real. Hey, look, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gone. Who is Bounty? And what can you expect from his channel? Bounty is a free spirited individual, steadfast chasing his dream through every hardship and challenge he faces in the way of his final destination. You can expect to see epic gaming videos infused with unrivaled comedy like all of these videos right here. Insightful, professionally made anime recommendation and review videos like all of these. Comedic, high energy reaction videos and from time to time, even explorative vlogs and IRL videos such as these. So click that subscribe button to become a part of the journey with Bounty. I shall hope to see you again in another video, my good friend. Until next time.